Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of ENS Academy. So friends, nowadays uh, like uh, we are turning into a modern era. Like uh, we are surrounded by the latest technologies around us. 5G networks, high speed internet, high speed data transfer wirelessly. Like uh, everything is becoming wireless nowadays. All the gadgets which you are using from the wearable devices such as your uh, air dopes, uh, like uh, wearable devices, smart watches, Google Glass, all of these uh, devices can transmit the data, can sense the data wirelessly, remotely. Well, friends, in terms of like when you talk about the wireless, nowadays like everything is becoming wirelessly. You can charge our cell phones wirelessly. We can charge the all the Apple devices, Apple ecosystem wirelessly. So everything is becoming wirelessly. Now, friends, over here. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the wireless charging, how the electricity get transferred wirelessly. Well, friends, thanks to Nikola Tesla in 1879, he invented a magnetic resonant coupling. That magnetic resonant coupling in a simpler way, we can call it as a Tesla coil that can transmit the electricity wirelessly up to certain distance. Like in a scientific form, we can call it as a uh, inductive coupling it can work on a principle of electromagnetic resonance basically friends the same uh, like technology which is used in your wireless charger friends in this particular video we are going to learn how this wireless charging will work what are the different technologies in the wireless charging what is the standard what are the uh, like uh, what is the which is the standard behind wireless charging that is globally accepted standard and uh, the some of the advantages and application of the wireless charging so friends if you are new over here on my education channel genius academy kindly subscribe because that's really motivates me to make more of such educational informative kind of videos so let's begin with our today's topic <laughs> So wireless charging. So how does it works? It works on the electromagnetic inductance. Like over here in a wireless charger, there is a primary coil. We can call it as a transmitting coil. Now this coil gets the voltage, supplied voltage. It converts an electronic circuit, converts this supplied voltage into the high frequency alternating current which this alternating currents will flow through that primary coil which is having a certain number of turns having a certain thickness that of the that is the diameter of this copper coil so when the current flows through this primary coil it produces the electromagnetic field around it and whenever a secondary coil gets in contact with that electromagnetic field the Elect the secondary coil gets induced and just because of this electromagnetic field a current gets produced in the secondary coil and then later this current is used to charge your cell phones your mobile devices and in future might be cars also so this is a simple principle of electromagnetic inductance which is there in the wireless charging systems so basically friends right now in markets the there are different types of the wireless charger available but the universally accepted wireless charging standard is nothing but the qi so it is like uh, pronounced as qi but it is the it is qi qi is basically a chinese word the meaning of qi is nothing but the life force and this is the globally accepted uh, standard just like in your conventional charger if you see at the back side of conventional charger there is a ce marking so this particular ce marking means your charger is safe it is tested under different circumstances and then it is found okay satisfactory you can apply it so in the same way the chi is nothing but the certification just like the CE marking, it is a certification standard 
that gives that checks all the satisfactory requirement of this wireless charger like this wireless charger like uh, can have uh, the can heat your mobile devices up to 200 degrees celsius which is very much sufficient to give a third degree type of burn so to avoid all of those uh, parameters like it is tested in a conventional manner and then the qi certification is provided in the wireless charger so whenever you are going to buy a wireless charger you must ensure that it should be qi certified charger so the capacities like the power delivery power output it is ranging between the 15 watts to uh, right now up to 18 watts 15 to 18 in between but in future it can deliver up to 60 watts wireless charging uh, like the speed of wireless charging up to 60 watts so that is on a higher side so that is all about the wireless charging now friends let's talk about the different technologies which are there in wireless charging basically there are three types of wireless charging technologies such as tightly coupled inductive loosely coupled resonant and uncoupled charging so in case of tightly coupled inductive like on a charging pad your cell phone should be aligned in a proper alignment there should be a proper alignment like the uh, coil the both two coils should be aligned properly in order to charge your cell phone efficiently that is nothing but the tightly coupled charging in case of loosely coupled resonant the alignment is not matter if you place your cell phone away from the wireless charger let's say around uh, at a distance of 5 cm or 10 cm it will be easily charged because it is it works it uses a technology of loosely coupled resonance and the third one is nothing but the uncoupled charging in case of the uncoupled charging the devices which are there at a longer distances up to like uh, up to 15 centimeters that can be easily charged by using this technology of uncoupled charging so friends all of this three different technologies these are completely related to the wireless charging well friends there are basically three wireless charging groups the first one is the alliance of for wireless power afwp the second one is the power matters alliance pma and the third one is nothing but the wireless power consortium now these three are the tech groups basic which focuses on the wireless standards these three groups the first one that is nothing but the alliance for wireless power that mainly focuses on the resonance charging protocol it can transfer the power up to 5 centimeters in this group the members are including intel qualcomm broadcom vitracity samsung tesla all of these tech giants these uh, are coming these are the members of this uh, standard group the second one is nothing but the power matters alliance and the third one is nothing but the wireless power consortium the, the well there is a merger in between the power matter alliance and wpc and the company the it is known as the and the another company come into and another company and the standard came into existence that is nothing but the air fuel alliance and for this air fuel alliance the qi is the standard protocol for wireless charging or it is a standard for the wireless charging that is nothing but the qi the majority of the members over here is nothing but the google apple verizon so all these tech giants these are the members over here in this air fuel alliance so that was about the groups different different groups over here now friends all of these different different groups they having a different frequency bands allotted such as in case of qi the frequency band is nothing between ranges between the 100 to 205 kilohertz for the pma power matter alliance the frequency band is 277 to 357 kilohertz so that is different frequency bands allotted for the different standard groups for wireless charging.
So friends, what are the different benefits of the wireless charging? The first one is nothing but the safety. The all the uh, like the wireless charging system, the transmitting coil and the receiving coil is so much enclosed so that there is no chances of dust which is getting st stalled in that electronic circuit. So it is dust proof, waterproof. It is because both the electronic devices are completely sealed and just because of this uh, system and the design the system itself gets a reliable its life increases so the first point is nothing but the safety and the reliability also the construction is a very robust construction over here there are no charging plugs required there are no uh, like the all the cabling systems required over here no plug will get damaged or worn out just by by uh, by this regular connection so it is completely robust design in this wireless charging we can uh, implement some of the artificial intelligence such as when your tesla model s when you drive it into the qualcomm halo charging station now this qualcomm halo charging station when it is connected to your tesla car it will give you the your statistics of the battery usage the tesla battery model battery temperature the different battery maintenance schedule it will give you all the data all the statistics automatically when you connect this charger to your car so over here the use of the artificial intelligence and the internet of things can be implemented in the wireless charging in future also the convenience or we can call it as a flexibility the majority of the wireless chargers suppose you are there into a conference hall there is a meeting of uh, let's say 10 people 10 people are sitting across a table in that particular table there is a provision of wireless charging all the cell phones which are there kept on a desk can be wirelessly charged so over here the convenience and the ease of wireless charging so that becomes another added advantage nowadays ikea is also trying to make this kind of the wireless charging tables which can charge your cell phones and other wearable devices also friends majority of the wireless charger these are having very very low cost because the design is very much simple hence the cost is very less and just because it eliminates the use of the cables the e-waste will get reduced over here also there is another emerging technology that is nothing but the on the road charging your electric vehicle that is capable of wireless charging will when it is traveling on a road the in the road there will be the coils which is placed on the road at a certain distance which will eventually charge your car when it is in a motion so it is known as the on the go charging so these are all the benefits of the wireless electricity these are all the benefits of the wireless charging so the applications includes as you all aware about the your cell phones wearable devices also it can be implemented in your kitchen the kitchen wears all this uh, appliances which we are regularly using in the kitchen that consumes electricity can be wirelessly charged through a table some of the light electrical devices light electrical devices such as your bicycles that can be electrically wirelessly charged in future also the industrial uh, applications such as in the hospital hospital uh, such as in the medical industries the medical equipments can be wirelessly charged in case of the industrial robots the industrial robots can be easily charged such as the agvs automated guided vehicle systems that can be easily charged by using this wireless electricity the drones the uavs these also can be easily charged by using the wireless electricity so friends in this particular video we have learned about the wireless charging its principle the different technologies of the wireless charging the standard behind the wireless charging its benefits and some of the applications of the wireless charging so friends tell me in the comments what you think about the wireless charging 
will it change our future or not your views please comment your views in the uh, comment box so friends thank you so much for watching this educational video informative video this is narendra buktar signing off